Hi guys, I'll cover to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing amazingly, fantastically good because <laughs> I am good. And today is the most anticipated, you know, video. Everybody have been asking about my aviation school and I'm so sorry. You know, things really do come up sometimes when you're not ready for it. But today is the day I'm going to shoot this video and I'm going to give you all the just all the tea everything you need to know okay so yeah so today i'm going to give you my experience as you you've always been asking me in the comment section so if you are really excited for this video please don't go anywhere just sit back grab a, a drink a tea or a popcorn and enjoy this video so let's get right into the video I don't want to you know be beating around the bush so i wrote some things down so if you see me looking down okay i'm just looking at my point and just like and just letting you know what i want to talk about okay so first of all i would like to talk about how we got to know the school my husband actually got to know the school i've always wanted to be in aviation school but my daddy said no you have to go to the university you are not going to have time or to make family or you're not going to have time for your babies or make babies or get married because you're going to go, because I wanted to be an air hostess, so I was going to go for around the world. So yeah, my daddy said, no, I have to go to university. But after university, there was no work. Ghana, trying to get a job in Ghana is very difficult. So my husband was going to alight his uncle. And I think there was this guy with the uncle. And they were all going to the airport. I don't know which part of the airport he works but my husband said he thinks he works at the airport so my husband asked him some few questions which school did he go and he i think he, he sent a flyer to him i'm going to put the flyer here okay so he gave him this flyer and then we went through it and i i decided to pick what i wanted to do we contacted the school and then we asked for directions to come over so that we will make inquiries about the school. So the school I'm talking about is International Travel and Tourism Institute. That is ITTI. And it's located at Achimota. I don't know the area too well, but I know it's at Achimota. Yeah, so you can even Google it. International Travel and Tourism Institute, ITTI. And it will show you the location of the school. So that is the school I went. So I went there the following day to make inquiries and we are supposed to buy a form. I've forgotten how much the form was. We were told the programs they do like on the flyer. And then I had to pick um, because I didn't see air hostess, but I saw um, passenger handling, airport passenger handling. So that's what I chose to do. And then they gave me the fee, how much I'm supposed to pay. And they told me, because there was no work i had to ask them please after this am i going to get work to do they said yes after the school the school is going to grant me opportunity to do attachments and at the airport so i was like okay good that is very good because after attachments maybe i can get a place to work there so they told me i'll be going to the school for three months and then i'll do attachments for three months so making it six months in all so i did a short course you can also do a long course. There are schools there that does long courses, like four years, three years. But I did mine for, um, yeah, three months and then attachment three months. So in total, it's going to be six months. So if you want to go for a long course, you can go for a long course, like four years, like actual school. But I did a short course that is three months and I'll do an attachment for three months, making everything six months. Okay. So I'll move on to when I started the school. My first day at school, that was orientation. We're not told we're going to have a quiz. <laughs> hey, somebody should tell me why we are having a test on the first day. But yeah, we did have a test. We had an aptitude test and it was general knowledge. You have to know certain things. It wasn't all about airport or aviation. 
they mark and they give you and they will get to know like if you are sharp or not okay so yeah that is what we did on the first day orientation day we had a test and then i think we discussed about the test and then we also discussed about the do's and the don'ts of the school and then we went home yeah and the following day we had a normal class so for the school um the lecturers for from the airport they come in to teach us and then they leave and another one comes so we start school at um, nine o'clock and then we close at one o'clock yeah one o'clock but sometimes it can push beyond that sometimes you have tech we have exams we have mocks we frequently have tests so with ITTI, that is International Travel and Tourism Institute, their pass mark is 80%, okay? So if you don't get 80%, you are going to fail and you have to do a reset. First time, you're not going to pay. Second time, you're going to pay an amount of money to reset, okay? And mind you, aviation school is no joke. Like I said in my previous video, if you have not watched it, I'm going to put it up here somewhere, the link up here somewhere, so you go and watch. You have to learn so many things like city codes, country codes, you have to know airports in every country, you have to know cities in every country, you have to know tourist attractions, and you have to know the codes they use in speaking at the airports, like I said before, and so you have a lot to learn. So if you're not good at that maybe i think you might have to go for the long course that is four years or three years i don't know depending on the school but i did for three months and you have to be chewing all this thing in your hair or even get stuck stuck in your hair you have to learn the country codes like accra accra the code is acc and we even with that we have um phonetics for them that's alpha charlie charlie that's the code you know that kind of stuff so if you are not ready please do not go into aviation because there are a lot of things to learn you have to learn the baggage the size how to calculate the baggage size and all you have to know currencies every country and their currencies and their codes like you know everything comes coded okay so yeah so with the 80 percent if you don't get 80 percent you get 70 percent or eight 79% you have failed my dear you have to go and reset so with the 80% it comes with assignments it comes with mock they can use any to give you the mark so you have to be good or you have to get good marks in any of them every day there's assignment to, to be sent home because there are lots of things to learn like I said you have to learn a lot of codes so you have a lot of things to learn before you complete school you have to do mock like three mocks and a project work so after that you wait for your results when you pass the 80 percent you are good to go if you do not pass you come back and rest it and you know try and pass and get your certificate when you pass like i did by god's grace i got my certificate and later i was told to come for my attachment letter and i went there for it and then they'll give you a company to send the attachment letters to i sent mine to menses and avians and I'm here and yet to receive a call from them so that I can do my attachments for them. Yeah, so that is all about my school, ITTI, International Travel and Tourism Institute. If you have any other questions to ask me, please don't be shy. Just comment in the comment section and I'll answer you. And before I go, guys, I want to say thank you so much because we are at 500 subscribers. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful. I love you all. Thank you so much for letting me hit 500 subscribers. I was going to say 500 Ghana cities. 500 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Please keep it coming. Subscribe. And let's move on okay okay so if you love this video please don't forget to subscribe like share to anyone who cares to know and i will see you in my next one bye